to talk about something that's quite topical in martial arts, but nobody's really been able to really define it succinctly. And I use that sort of Chinese word, and it just is chi. What is chi? You hear all these stories that chi's this, chi's that, and chi can be used to control people. And I remember seeing a, a Tai Chi Kung Fu master maybe 25 years ago, and what, what he'd done, right, is he got one of his students out, and he, he made them stand up, and he made them close their eyes, and then he walked into this other room, shut the door, and then about a minute later, she started wobbling, and then 30 seconds after that, she fell on the floor. So he's come back out, and he said, that's a demonstration of chi. And I was thinking to myself, well, how's that a demonstration of chi? She just wobbled herself and fell on the floor. And then I thought to myself, well, they're having a game between themselves, and she complied with his will, and she fell on the floor. Yeah, he has controlled her. What does it mean when you're a doorman? Well, I can remember working with his older doorman when I was, like, a bit younger. We had a problem with these thugs, and I was working with a particular doorman, his name's Fred, and these thugs were kicking off. And I remember they were like, just f nuisances. And I remember Fred walked into the door, right, and he just held his hand out to the manager. So the manager had made a phone call. And he put his hand out like, like that. And he said, you know what that means? Well, we all knew what that means. The manager then weighed out some money. When he weighed out <laughs> I, 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 it's quite funny. He weighed out the <laughs> Just done a <coughs> Which means, right, no words, it means that ain't enough. <laughs> so the manager had to double the thickness of notes. Right, just a cough, just a little cough. And I thought, well, that's a bit of chi, isn't it? He didn't even have to say anything, just a <coughs> which means more money. So he weighed up. Now, my mate's gone in and I'm with him, and he's just walked upstairs. I wasn't even needed. He's walked upstairs, walked in, and he's walked over to what in effect is about 12 blokes. One was on crutches, swinging this crutch all around the place, knocking glasses off. You can imagine they'd got the whole top of the nightclub all to themselves. So he's walked in, and he's, as, as he's walked in, he's walked in like that, and he's just stood there, and he's done this with his hands, like that, and he's gone, <coughs> isn't it funny? All this music, and he does a <coughs> another little cough, and suddenly all eyes are on him. He goes dead quiet. He then walks over, he looks around, and he goes, I think it's time for you to leave. And one of them goes, oh, come off it, Fred, we ain't done all here. And with that, Fred turns around and chastises him with a little slap around the face. Just slaps him. Bloke goes back and the bloke said, that was out of order, Fred. And then Fred takes another step and just punches him in the back of the head. Would well, you know what? I've never seen so many people leave a nightclub so quickly. All 12 of them bolted for, for the fire door, one after the other, right? And they fought to get out of the nightclub. Now, to me, that was like what that Chinese Kung Fu master done. But he'd done it in a sort of esoterical, sort of strange way, and we in the West were looking for this magic. But there was my mate Fred, didn't even know the word chi, actually demonstrated what chi really was in a Western sense. He got rid of 12 of them, right, with one little slap, one light punch at the back of the head, and they've all off. Oh, oh, oh.